Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile application development using Flutter video series and the topic of today video is adding actions to the application bar. So before we proceed, I'll highly recommend looking earlier videos where we have used stateful widget uh, because in a sense this code is continuation of the existing one. So uh, I have created a stateful widget called my app and I have created an implementation class called my app state and I am going to create a material app okay so I'll create a material app now and material app has something called home in the home I can use scaffold scaffold had two things app bar and I'll create new app bar uh, with title as its widget dot title and body I'll go ahead with column only so which will have children and I can just display some text over here just to make make sure that it's actually working and that's all so this is the very beginning and let me just see whether it works fine or not yes so it is working now if we have to add actions into the app bar you might have guessed that you have to do something over here first some cosmetic thing we can change the background color of it let's say I say orange brightness now orange now there is some thing called actions which take widgets widget array in the similar way it is taking over here so in the widget array we can create multiple things uh, for the app bar the the things which we generally create are uh, some kind of flat button or icon button so let go let's go ahead and create icon button i can create create icon but icon button so my icon will be um, let's say i create new icon uh, we have some very by default very good icons available in flutter we can say icon start uh, let's say add add comment for example okay uh, on pressed let it be null and let me create one more icon button uh, and i'll say icons uh, dot let's say remove let me go ahead and hot reload it and you can see this this plus is add comment and minus is remove buttons are there as i have explained in earlier video this is disabled because there is no implementation given if i just give an implementation it will be enabled similarly this will also be enabled now i am displaying some text over here uh, let me also uh, create some string text equal to uh, empty string and let me display this text over here text value is dollar text if i go and do the hot reload we can see text value is nothing and uh, this nothing happens with this also so uh, let me do this what i want to add is that text equal to add comment and text equal to remove comment and uh, let me again hot reload it i say nothing is happening because we are not calling set a state to redraw itself so what i need to do is that we say set state I say text equal to remove comment and here also set a state now things should work so if i say add comment if i say this remove comment add comment remove comment so you know this is the way i have added the 
actions onto the application bar there is no limit per se but you don't uh, like to add more into application we would rather rather create a multi-page application which we will see in later videos now one more important thing that it generally created is the pop-up menu where the three button comes over here and the pop-up menu can be created by using something called pop-up menu button so in the pop-up menu button we have to build the item so I, item builder takes a function and so which takes a build context uh, we are not using build context as of now but very li likely we will use it very soon so this actually written pop-up menu entry pop-up menu entry and I need to give an enum. This enum is necessary for the syntax purpose, but uh, we can actually use the enum also to pop up, uh, create the pop up uh, automatically. But for the simplicity purpose, I am just showing it as a manual creation. Let me create some enum as a. And this also returns an array. In the array, I'll say new pop-up menu item and the child will be, uh, let's say I create child as flat button so that I can uh, have some action onto it. A uh, new text is button and on placed I'll do I'll again call a set state inside this let me add the text as pop up now you can see this button comes here if I get pop up is there if I press plus minus or pop up it can have multiple items over here so that's the way we uh, add actions to the application bar so that's pretty much for this particular video we will see you in next video thanks a lot thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe